open black lens bracket exclusive contracted novel by Filu Novel Network. Counting the top 10 strange nicknames of comprehensive comics, shocking the sky close black lens bracket. This book is also known as From the Yellow Ape of the Water King. Counting the strange and fantastic nicknames of comprehensive manga. The inventory of the heavens and all realms has arrived. Here is a list of the top 10 quirky nicknames. 10th place. The Yellow Monkey. The King of Water. 9th. Tuju Tanjiro. 8th place. Sparkling Gilgamesh. 7th place. Blue Dye Adult Blue Dye Sasuke. 6th place. 5th place. The emergence of bizarre nicknames one by one. Only then did the audience from all over the world realize. Only the wrong name, no wrong nickname. Filu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1. Wanji Inventory kneeling for flower monthly ticket evaluation you are listening at novel full dot audio is it considered finished like this quote i don't know if this first editing will attract audiences from all over the world in a residential building in h city li xiaobai who stayed up all night for three days stretched lazily li xiaobai traveled to this parallel universe a month ago I thought it was an ordinary world, but inexplicably, it caught up with the revival of spiritual energy and global evolution. As a non-indigenous person, Li Xiaobai can only watch helplessly as others awaken various powerful talents, drooling with envy. I thought I could only be a passerby in this life. The necessary cheats for travelers have been credited. Open black lens bracket Zhushan Wanji inventory system close black lens bracket. According to the system instructions, this system can connect the heavens and worlds and deliver videos edited and produced by Li Xiaobai. As long as the video is recognized by the heavens and the world and receives clicks, Li Xiaobai can receive rewards from the system including but not limited to objects from all heavens and all realms. It's very strong. System. Let me see how much benefit my hard work in the past three days can bring me. Quote. Li Xiaobai, wearing a pair of panda eyes, decisively pressed the release button. In the process of video delivery. At the moment when Li Xiaobai chose to release the video. Buzz. Amidst all the heavens and realms, accompanied by a buzzing sound, a deep blue light instantly flashed across the entire world. Immediately after, in the incredulous gaze of everyone in the heavens and realms, a faint blue light screen appeared out of thin air in mid-air. The Wanji inventory is about to begin. One Piece World. Naval Headquarters. Marinfando. Marshal Warring States is discussing the details of the battle with a group of generals. Buzz. At the moment when the light curtain swept across the sky, everyone almost instinctively lifted their heads. What flashed past? Polisari no. Have you seen it clearly? Quote. The Warring States period asked immediately. Admiral Huang Huan shrugged upon hearing the words. Old man. This is a sparkling fruit, not a thousand mile eye fruit. How could I see it clearly? Quote, Both Red Dog Sakaski and Green Pheasant Kuzan, who were naval generals, frowned and shook their heads. The thing that flashed past just now was too fast for them to see clearly what it was. Just as a few people were puzzled, the next second, a faint blue light screen appeared in midair. As the intuition of the Navy's highest combat power, the few people almost instinctively made preparations for battle. HMPH. This is another pirate who doesn't know whether he's alive or dead, just joking with his fruit ability. Quote. After waiting for a while, waiting to see the text clearly on the screen, Red Dog squinted its eyes and the lava rolled in its palm. Impossible. 
Don't forget, we're in the house. Quote. The Warring States period pushed the glasses on the bridge of the nose. Three naval generals finally realized it. They are now. But it's still in the marshal's office at the headquarters. I didn't even walk outside. How did they see this light screen? Is it something that directly projects into a person's heart? If there really is such a powerful demon fruit, isn't the winner already unifying the world? Hockage world. In the small forest near Maye village. Naruto Naruto is learning ninjutsu with one of the three ninjas, the lecherous fairy Zillai. We must succeed this time. Ha. Huh. Naruto rallied his spirit and held a water-filled balloon in his hand, constantly condensing his chakra inside. Watching the water ball in his palm slowly shake, chakra inside was about to burst the water ball. Buzz. A sudden blue light flashed across the sky. The water ball returned to calm. Damn it. Who the hell is it? Who is bothering me at such a critical moment? Clearly, I almost succeeded. Looking at the water ball that had failed, it jumped up and down with excitement. Quiet. Quote. Zillia, who was closing his eyes and recuperating, suddenly stood up and took out a handful of kawu in his hand, cautiously looking around. What's wrong? Quote. Seeing Zillai entering a state of battle, Naruto finally realized something was wrong. Just as Zillai was about to explain, a faint blue light screen suddenly appeared above their heads. Wow. Wanji inventory. Hey, lecherous fairy, what does inventory mean? Naruto was momentarily stunned, followed by a moment of joy, and then issued a soul questioning. Idiot. I don't understand anything. What are you happy about? Be careful. This may be the enemy's illusion. If you encounter danger later, be sure to follow me closely. Quote. Zillai first gave Naruto a headache and then looked at the screen with a wary expression. What is he in this unprecedented illusion? Is it the light just now? Death world. Corpse soul realm. Buzz. The light flashed over. Rotten wood Lucia, who was honing her sword skills, instantly looked up. What's going on? Did something happen in the corpse soul realm? Quote. Rotten wood Lucia quickly walked out of the training room. As soon as I arrived on the street, I saw a sudden light screen appearing in midair. Heizaki Ichigo. Quote. Worried about the safety of this world, Rotten wood Lucia ignored the light screen in front of her and went directly to this world. In this world, on the windowsill of Ichigo Kurosaki's home. When Rotten wood Rukia arrived, Kasuke Urahara had already appeared here, following Ichigo and pointing at the light screen in the sky. Yo! Since you've come over, doesn't it mean that this thing has also appeared in the soul realm? It seems that this thing is much more dangerous than I imagined. Quote. Urahara Kasuke greeted Rotten Wood Rukia with a calm expression on his face. At the same time, Corpse Soul Realm in the team building of the fifth team. Blue Dye Sasuke is eating hot tofu. Captain. Really don't you need to worry about things in the sky. Shimaru Yin expressed confusion about Aizen's attitude. That also needs to be manageable, right? Quote. Since the appearance of this thing is not noticed by anyone and there is no hostility, let's let it go for now. Aizen smiled slightly and continued to eat her favorite tofu. Just deep inside, Aizen couldn't help but burst into laughter. This is the power beyond death. This light screen is definitely a power beyond death. Get it. Make sure to find a way to get it. The emergence of light screens has caused countless disturbances in the heavens and realms. Many people think this is the enemy's conspiracy. But they were surprised to find out. No matter where you face. No matter where you hide. 
This light screen follows closely like a shadow. There is absolutely no way to avoid it. Just as countless people are discussing what inventory of the heavens really means. Under the gaze of the heavens and all realms. Above the screen. Suddenly black screen. Next second. The connection between the heavens and the world has been successful. The inventory of the heavens and the world begins. Bullet screen system loading. The bullet screen system has been loaded. Closing square bracket. Rows of text appeared that puzzled countless people. All heavens and all realms. Bullet chat. What is this all about? The new book sets sail. Kneeling down to seek the flower and monthly pass evaluation tickets of handsome men and beautiful women. All your support is the author's motivation. Thank you very much. Closing square bracket. Chapter 2. 10 strange nicknames. Kneeling for flowers and moon. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Amidst the astonished gazes of countless people in the heavens and realms. Rows of brilliant golden text emerge again. Open black lens bracket Zhushan Wan Ji Inventory Phase 1. Close black lens bracket. Only the wrong name, no wrong nickname. Open black lens bracket inventory of the top 10 strange nicknames in the world. Close black lens bracket. Nickname. See the last line of text. All the people in the heaven and the world immediately roast. I thought this mysterious light screen would reveal something profound and unpredictable. Is that the result? Is that all? Nickname. What is there to say about nicknames? Isn't this all something everyone is joking around with? One Piece World. Marin Fando. Nickname. Is this mysterious guy joking with us? Quote. Is it possible that he is insinuating the code name of our navy? The red dog picked up a cigar and showed a dissatisfied expression on its face. You should know that within the navy, almost all members of the rank of generals have their own code names. Just like himself, codenamed Red Dog. The Warring States period and the other two generals on the side also had a strange look on their faces. This should be a joke, right? Otherwise, no serious person would study nicknames. Not to mention the internal code of their navy. Just those pirates at sea, which one doesn't have a nickname. If this is counted, just text work can exhaust people to death. Are you idle? At the same time. Shampoo Land Islands. Chia Cheese Rip Off Bar. Yo ho ho ho. Nickname. Speaking of which. I already seem to be called the. Nose Song. By some people. I miss it so much. Quote. Brooke held a glass of wine and gently shook it. Ah. This screen is slandering me. What is a nickname that doesn't sound wrong? My little thief cat nickname is definitely a mistake. Quote. Nami roared with anger on her face. Well, weren't you a thief before, was that right? Luffy looked at Nami with confusion. Big thief cat. Call me big thief cat in the future. Quote. Nami suddenly straightened her chest and placed her hands on her hips. Sanji. Jobber on the side suddenly turned pale with shock. I saw a continuous stream of bright red flowing out of Sanji's nose. Hockage World. Maye Village. Nickname. Quote. In the Hockage office, the newly appointed fifth generation Hockage master instinctively smiled at the corners of the screen. Lord Gangshu, what are you laughing at? Quote. The assistant on the side asked curiously in silence. I suddenly reminisced about the years of three ninjas back then. Indeed, only by calling the wrong name, not by the wrong nickname. Quote. Gangshu replied with a smile. Um, so have you also recognized your nickname, the legendary fat sheep? Mute blinked her eyes. As soon as he said this, Gang Zhao's expression instantly froze. And in the small forest outside of Maye village. Right. 
Right. No wrong nickname. Lecherous fairy. Isn't my nickname perfect? The text on the screen made Naruto Vortex burst into laughter. Damn it. It's the Toad Fairy. My nickname is the Toad Fairy. Zillai couldn't hold back for a moment and rewarded Naruto with a brain arche. A divine and lascivious fairy. If this nickname gets out, how will he continue to draw materials for Love Heaven in the future? Death World. Nickname. Let me think. What nickname should I give you? Achigo. Quote. On the windowsill of Achigo Kurosaki's home, Kazukurahara smiled and said. Nicknames. I don't want any messy nicknames. I'm not allowed to use them. Quote. Upon hearing Urahara Kisuki's question, Kurosaki Achigo's face turned red and he immediately shouted back. It's so noisy. Keep it down. Quote. Even though the name sounds the same as the strawberry, how could you have such a bad personality? Quote. Upon hearing this, the temporarily confirmed safety of Rottenwood Lukia gave Heizaki Achigo a glance. Hey, little Lukia, you hit the nail on the head with that sentence. Quote. Yeah, I'll call him Little Strawberry in the future. Isn't this nickname very appropriate? Yuzu Kurahara looked at Ichigo Kurosaki, whose face turned red, with a grateful expression. Puff, ha ha ha, little strawberry, ha ha ha, Lukia, the decaying wood on the side, burst into laughter in an instant. Get out of here, you all get out of here. Quote, I don't want to be called, little strawberry, get out of here. Looking at the two people laughing in a ball, Achigo Kurosaki suddenly became angry and embarrassed, shouting to drive them away. The windowsill instantly burst into laughter. One Punch Superman World. Z City Uninhabited Area, Saitama's Home. Teacher, do you have a nickname? Genos asked while preparing dinner. Nickname. Quote. Do sea level heroes count? Saitama turned her head to look at Yanos and replied seriously. This shouldn't be counted. Quote, and with your strength, teacher, you are likely to advance to the S level soon. At that time, you will also need a title. Yanos didn't say anything nonsense. The major S level heroes of the Heroes Association have their own titles. Even Genus himself has a nickname of a devil transforming a person. Um, what you said seems very reasonable. Quote, you should really think of a nickname for me. What's good to call it? Saitama's face showed a rare serious expression. A nickname is a big deal. Definitely not careless. All people in all worlds are still roast. After all, nicknames sound too spooky. Even many ordinary people's nicknames carry a lot of humiliating connotations. If others know about this, will you still be a good person? In the roast voice of all people in all heaven and all worlds. The light screen is flashing. A brand new line of text emerged. Tenth place. Closing square bracket. Is it finally about to start? All the people in all worlds stopped talking and roast in an instant. Everyone stared intently at the direction of the light screen. Top 10 strange nicknames. They want to see where this nickname can really go. The next second, a figure in a suit with a cloak draped behind her gradually appeared on the screen. The figure gradually became clearer, and the details on the body became more apparent. A yellow white striped suit. The dark green lining. A pure white cloak. A head of black curly short hair. He is still wearing a pair of sunglasses on his face. Damn it. Does this guy look a bit creepy? Isn't this just a sleazy old man? What strange nickname could he have? Quote. Wearing something that looks like a dog. I'm afraid it's not just a beast in disguise. Some people are joking, 
while others feel a hint of threat from the screen. Strange. Why do I feel a slight threat from the screen? Can this person suddenly jump out? Sleeping trough. Can't it? Quote. It's even better to come here. Isn't it true that there are countless realms in the heavens? It just happens to show me the strength of other worlds. Amidst the discussions of the crowd. Next to the figure, several lines of commentary subtitles appeared. Name. Yellow Ape. Poor Ussolino. World belonging to. Pirate World. Nickname. Rowing King. The new book sets sail, kneeling down to seek the flower and monthly pass evaluation tickets of handsome men and beautiful women. All your support is the author's motivation. Thank you very much. Closing square bracket. Chapter 3. The Yellow Monkey, the King of Water, kneels for flower monthly tickets. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Rowing King. When the nickname of the Yellow Ape appears on the screen, the people of all worlds burst into laughter in an instant. What kind of ghost is the Water King? Do you mean this guy often slacks off and doesn't work? Dragon Ball World. Universe. The Water King. Quote. I don't know what it means. But these low-level creatures' words remind me. If we could use this screen to travel to other worlds and universes. Quote. Universe Emperor Frissa sat on his spacecraft, his eyes flickering as he watched the light screen. There is nothing interesting about this universe today. If this screen really can take people back and forth, isn't it possible to enjoy the pleasure of conquering others again? Thinking of this, Fleischer immediately called his subordinates over. Use all possible means to investigate. Make sure to figure out the origin of this light screen for me. Do you understand? Quote. Yes. Chi Mu Nanshung's Disaster World. The Water King. If possible, I also want to row every day. Quote. Looking at the yellow ape on the screen, Chi Mu couldn't help but show an expression of envy. This title sounds like a lazy one. And the idle force is exactly the realm that Chi Mu yearns for. If you don't have to worry about anything every day, I can enjoy coffee pudding quietly every day. I can't even imagine how happy I would be. Chi Mu. Chi Mu. Are you at home? Quote. Brother. We're here to play. We brought snacks. Let's watch the screen together. Listening to the sound of door calls outside the door, Chi Mu's face instantly collapsed. Rowing King. I want to be the Rowing King. To offer blessings for a beautiful world. World. The Water King. Isn't this title supposed to be given to you? Quote. I can't believe anyone else besides you can handle this title. Looking at the blue-haired wisdom goddess by his side, Sato and Shin looked disgusted. Hezhen. Take back what you just said. Quote. I am the water goddess of the Akusian faith. How could I possibly be the rowing king? Akuya. The goddess of wisdom, heard Hezhen's roast, and her whole face turned red with anger. Cut. Even the goddess, her combat power is not as strong as a passerby, and she still has the face to say. Which fight wasn't fought by me alone? Have you done anything so far? Quote. A safe rowing king. He really hasn't realized what's going to happen yet. The mouth is still roast. Wow. Ah. The next second, the unbearable Akuya finally couldn't help but burst into tears. Instantly attracted countless passersby around to point and point. Damn it. Don't cry. No. I'm not really any pervert. And the true moment of Ma Zhao. One Piece World. Starting from the appearance of the Phantom of the Yellow Ape. The atmosphere in the office gradually became strange. Wait until the figure of the Yellow Ape is completely clear. Even when accompanied by explanatory text. Everyone's faces have become incredibly exciting. The Water King. Yellow Ape. Should you explain it now? 
Quote, During the Warring States period, he smiled and looked at the yellow ape. I said, Every time I catch a pirate, there are always various accidents. Is it because of you? Single quote quote. The red dog slowly extended a fist, with lava continuously splashing above. The green pheasant showed a helpless expression and quietly took two steps back, saving a moment for blood to splash onto itself. No. Listen to me explain. Quote. Shouldn't our enemy be this screen of light in the sky? Don't get your goals wrong. The yellow ape shed a bean-sized sweat on its forehead and looked awkwardly at the crowd. Didn't you see what was said on the screen? Only the wrong name, not the wrong nickname. So, should you explain it now? Mr. Rowing Wang. Quote. Watching the approaching red dog, the yellow ape was speechless. This unlucky screen. Why did you come up and cut yourself? Who the hell is it? Who the hell is going to frame themselves? Amidst the chatter of the world, the light screen has undergone another change. The figure of the yellow ape disappeared. The screen flashed. Arrived at an office. What? Surprisingly kidnapped the Tianlong people. And there are also 13 wanted criminals present. Quote. A middle-aged man wearing a white cloak and a sea European hat on his head was listening to his subordinate's report with a worried expression on his face. Marshal of the Navy. The Warring States of Buddha. As the screen rotates, the yellow ape is sitting leisurely in the back, drinking hot tea. Since we have kidnapped the world's nobles, we can't just sit idly by, can we? Mr. Warring States. The teacup was lowered, and the yellow ape spoke calmly. Hmm. The confusion of the warring states period turned around. Let me go. It's just a pirate. I'll come if I go. Quote. With a flick of his cloak, the yellow ape stood up arrogantly and headed straight towards the door. Seeing this scene, all the people in the heaven and the world rose again. What kind of ghost? Didn't you say? Rowing the water king. This proactive posture is not like rowing the water. Quote. By the way, did you notice that this yellow ape is slightly taller, one head higher than the soldier guarding the gate? But what kind of ghosts are naval marshals and world nobles? Is this really another world? Is there really a parallel world in this world? Quote. The pirate's world. Marshal of the navy. Looks like two opposing forces, and judging from the actions of the pirates, it is estimated that the navy is the righteous side, right? Quote. Nonsense. This is for your analysis. Didn't you see the two big characters written on the cloak of the yellow ape? On the screen, as the yellow ape revealed its back, the two pitch black characters on the cloak appeared prominently in everyone's eyes. Justice. Turn the camera. On an island floating with colorful bubbles. A warship is coming over. Quote. Run quickly. The person who comes is a general. It's too late. The shells have already hit. Countless crowds on the shore were shouting and screaming wildly. Just as the crowd was rushing around, three pitch black shells suddenly shot from the seaside. Zoom in. On the shell in the center stood a tall figure. Admiral, yellow ape. The shell fell. And just as it was about to explode, a golden light flashed on the yellow ape's body. The next second, accompanied by the roar of shells, a golden light suddenly flashed in front of the crowd. Yo. I am the yellow ape and have arrived at the target location. Please reply. Quote. The flames filled the air, and the yellow ape had a smile on its face. Crouching trough. Does this person really know how to paddle when he comes so quickly? Standing on the shell. What a arrogant style. I don't know if this person has the capital to be arrogant. No. Look at it. This yellow ape is not just slightly taller, it's half taller than the average person. It's at least three meters tall, 
right? And what's going on with the golden light on his body? Do humans still have anything that can emit light? Quote. The new book sets sail, kneeling down to seek the flower and monthly pass evaluation tickets of handsome men and beautiful women. All your support is the author's motivation. Thank you very much. Closing square bracket. Chapter 4. The Horrible Yellow Ape. Kneeling for Flowers. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Relying on the built-in bullet screen system. Countless people expressed their opinions at the same time. Especially for ordinary people in the technological or everyday world. I feel deeply puzzled by the yellow ape standing on the shell and evading explosions through flashing lights. Is this special still human? Bullet screen scrolling. The video continues. Along with the yellow ape landed, there were also many soldiers wearing uniforms and holding firearms. Everyone must be careful. There are many people on this island who are wanted criminals. Quote. Be especially careful of those wanted criminals with bounties exceeding 100 million yuan. Never let them go. Amidst the excited shouts of the soldiers, the yellow ape continued to greet the black snail on its wrist. Hello. 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 I'm a yellow ape. Curious. Why didn't you get a response? Hey. Quote. Just as the yellow ape was studying snails. In the alley next to him, two people dressed as pirates were hiding behind several wooden boxes. If I can kill this guy, I can make a name for myself, right? Don't dream. That's the highest naval combat power. Quote. The first pirate to speak did not give up, but instead trembled and raised his gun, aiming it at the head of the yellow ape. Stop it. Just when my partner panicked and wanted to stop. Fire with a musket. A bullet shot instantly and hit the head of the yellow ape. But what surprised everyone was. The head of the yellow ape was not injured. That bullet went straight through the head of the yellow ape and hit the wall on the other side. What is the situation? Hello. 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 Curious. Quote. The yellow ape raised its head and looked at the shooter with a gloomy expression. Why? That gun was clearly hit just now. Quote. Stop talking nonsense. This guy must be someone with some kind of ability. Run quickly. My companion let out a loud roar and immediately pulled the shooter to flee desperately. But when the two of them ran for a long time and looked up, they saw that the yellow ape had already been waiting in front of them, greeting them with a smile on its face. Hello everyone. I have something I want to inquire about. Quote. Our ideographic period. Seeing the ghostly appearance of the yellow ape, the two pirates had no intention of listening to the yellow ape's question and decisively ran in the other direction. Really, I just want to find someone. Why do I have to run? The yellow ape smiled helplessly, leaned slightly, and lifted one of its legs. As the words fell, the yellow ape kicked out in the air. A burst of golden light passed through the middle of the two escapees in an instant. Just when the two escapees thought it was the yellow ape that missed the target. Boom. A violent explosion sounded instantly. A big tree, which was hundreds of times taller than the surrounding buildings, was instantly cut off by the golden light and collapsed with a loud bang. Leo Ultraman World. The Leo Ultraman human body, Feng Yuan, who was training kicking on the mountain, stiffened instantly upon seeing this scene. The power of this kick. Is this really an attack that humans can unleash? If I could also learn this powerful kicking technique myself. Are you still afraid of not being able to defeat monsters and cosmic beings? Don't daydream. The hard truth is to exercise your basic skills first. Quote. The human body of Seven Ultraman, who was supervising on the side, had a stern expression on the faces of the star clusters and sternly rebuked them. 
After seeing Feng Yuan nodded honestly and retrained, the various star clusters finally smiled with satisfaction and then looked at the screen with serious eyes. As a member of the Otto Guard, the star cluster sees more and farther than Phoenix Source. If what is displayed on the screen is really another world, another universe, will that affect the Kingdom of Light? You should know that for the Kingdom of Light, crossing parallel universes is as simple as a daily routine. If one day they arrive in such a world, Ultraman, can we continue to uphold justice? The Stone Age world. This person is so strong. No matter what his nickname is, the combat power of the light screen must already be invincible. Quote. Amber, a blonde combat girl, looked at the direction of the light screen with a passionate expression on her face. If she could also have such strong strength. The Lion King's office. Kick it to death. Don't dream. Although there may be aliens in this world, they must also be technology-based aliens. There can't be such an incredible ability person. Quote. Honestly developing technology is the key. Don't be fooled. Bring me that stick quickly. Shi Shen Chan gave Amber a blank glance. If the world had not experienced petrification, he may still be in the mood to study the existence of the light screen. Or it could be parallel space-time or something. But for now, hurry up and find a way to invent the phone. That's the right thing. One Piece World. Seeing his own actions on the screen, Huang Huan's waist suddenly stiffened. Look, look, when did I row the water? The title of, Water King, is clearly a slander against me. Quote, shut up. The Warring States period suddenly turned around and stared, then spoke seriously. This screen, shouldn't it be able to predict the future? Quote, you should know that everything that happened on the screen has not happened yet. But what did he hear on the screen just now? The Tianlong people were kidnapped. Or was it hijacked by the straw hat kid Luffy? Shouldn't it be a joke? If we can really predict the future, why should we show it to us? I don't believe anyone would have such kindness. Quote. Ching Ji shook his head, feeling that the inference from the Warring States period was not reliable. To be fair, if he has the ability to predict the future, he will definitely hide and make a fortune quietly. How could it be so grandly displayed to everyone? There is currently insufficient information, but we cannot completely sit idly by. Quote. Someone. Immediately send troops to the Shampoo Islands to station and closely monitor the movements of this straw hat boy. Yes. Quote. With a command from the Warring States period, the Navy immediately took action. Just as the heavens and realms marveled at the terrifying power of the yellow ape. In the light screen, the yellow ape, who had just made a shocking move, wandered the streets like nothing had happened, searching everywhere for the person he was looking for. Soon, the yellow ape arrived near this scenic fountain. In front of the fountain, there was a group of pirates dressed in divine robes. Excuse me. Do you know where Jean Tao Maru is? Quote. In the frightened gaze of the pirate, the yellow ape walked slowly to the center of the crowd like a walking old man, and asked a young man with long yellow hair and a white cardigan in the center. Don't be nervous. Today won't be my deadline. The man being asked had a calm expression on his face. Anyway, being idle is also being idle. It's even more unreasonable to let go of you as a bounty hunter, right? Bounty of 249 million berry, magician, Basil Hawkins. Quote. The yellow ape raised its eyebrows lightly. Have you ever been kicked by the speed of light? Quote. The new book sets sail, kneeling down to seek the flower and monthly pass evaluation tickets of handsome men and beautiful women. All your support is the author's motivation. Thank you very much. 
Closing square bracket. Chapter 5. Have you been kicked by the speed of light? For collection. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Is the speed of light the speed of this yellow ape? Quote. This is too outrageous, isn't it? Even a capable person can't be outrageous about it. Who knows what a bounty of 200 million is? It feels like this guy is very calm. Quote. Shouldn't the average speed of light per person be? In the barrage of comments. The yellow ape has taken action. To be precise, it's a kick. Just like kicking off that big tree just now, the yellow ape lifted one of its legs again, and a golden light burst on its feet. Just as Hawkins was squinting to look over, this foot hit Hawkins' cheek. Whoosh. In the moment when everyone didn't react, Hawkins has already been kicked into the nearby building. Oh. Quote. Looking at the building covered in smoke and dust, the yellow ape raised its right hand, and a golden light burst from its fingertips. Boom. Another laser shot out. The entire building exploded instantly. It's a bit interesting. Is everything okay? Just as the yellow ape sighed, the smoke and dust dissipated, and Hawkins walked out as if nothing had happened. Just when the yellow ape wanted to try how many times Hawkins could resist. There was also a roar on the side. I saw a man who was taller than the yellow ape and several times stronger than the yellow ape. He threw a strong man with brown skin at Hawkins' feet like garbage. World government humanoid weapon, pacifist, bounty of 18 million berry, monster monk, Erky. Then came a man wearing an eagle-beaked hat with an X logo on his chin and chest. Bounty of 222 million berry, fallen rear Admiral Drake. A series of commentary subtitles appeared next to each character. As he watched the three newcomers appear, the yellow ape smiled slightly. Since that's the case, all three of you, let's have a good time with this guy. Quote, but be careful, because I'm also standing here, sleeping trough. This old man is so shameless. Although he has the ability to kill them in seconds, he insists on bringing them such heavy psychological pressure. That's right. I know why this guy is called the rowing king. If he finds an opportunity, he must row. This is not really a stroke. After all, his identity is here. If you have a younger brother, of course you should use him first. Quote. Well, it seems to make some sense. The barrage rolled incessantly again. The video continues. The three pirates who offered a reward of over 1 billion yuan were stunned. But faced with the oppression of the yellow ape, I still had to muster up my spirit. The strange monk G roared and his body instantly expanded several times, reaching the level of a pacifist pointing at the pacifist and laughing. Come on. Don't think I'll be like before. Look at the move. Ulji's huge fist was punched out. Under the explosive force, the pacifist who had previously left him with numerous scars was directly punched into the wall this time. Just as everyone present lamented the strength of Ulji. Amidst the smoke and dust, a sudden golden light shot out piercing through Erky's shoulder in an instant. With tremendous force, it pushed him heavily to the ground. Major General Drake. Quote. No. It should be Major General Yuan. Are you observing? Don't look. Let's go up and fight against it and give it a try. The yellow ape has a relaxed expression on its face. Upon hearing the Admiral's words, Drake had not yet decided whether or not to go up, but the pacifists suddenly turned their focus and charged straight towards Drake. At this moment, Drake was also forced to take action. In front of everyone, his body suddenly transformed from a human to a terrifying Tyrannosaurus Rex, with a body size even taller than that of a pacifist. 
I saw Drake grabbing the fist that the pacifist had attacked with one paw, opening his mouth wide and biting into the pacifist's head. And pacifists, although bitten and bleeding, still lift their palms, revealing a barrel-like structure. The light flickered, like a beam of light emitted by a yellow ape fingertip attack. While piercing through Drake's abdomen, it also instantly destroyed the building behind him. Faced with a counterattack, Drake took two steps back and withdrew from the form of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Did weapons also bleed? It's really surprising. But looking at the blood on the pacifist's head, Drake smiled slightly. I really saw something amazing. Quote, Erky, who took the opportunity to recover his strength, looked at Drake and the pacifist with a surprised expression on his face and sighed. Didn't I just say that? I'm also here. Quote, Before Erky finished speaking, the voice of the yellow ape rang out. Next second, in a moment of shaking his spirit, the figure of the yellow ape appeared next to Erky. Bang! A sidekick with golden light swept through the air. Erky's body was like a kite with a broken string. Instantly kicked hundreds of meters and even crashed into countless houses. Seeing this scene, Hawkins knew he couldn't continue to observe. Countless straws spread out from the body, and the whole person instantly transformed into a huge scarecrow. Oh ouch. You guys with a bounty of over 100 million yuan, each one looks like a monster, it's really scary. The yellow ape turned around and looked up at the huge scarecrow, sighing. The appearance of subduing demons. Hawkins ignored the teasing of the yellow ape and quickly swept towards it with his huge black nails. After several consecutive attacks, Hawkins was shocked to find that the yellow ape had disappeared. Before Hawkins could react, the figure of the yellow ape suddenly jumped in front of Hawkins extending two fingers and facing Hawkins' eyes. The next second, the golden light on the fingertips will explode. The strong light, like the sun, instantly blinded everyone present. When the light dissipated, the yellow ape had already stood leisurely in front of Hawkins, pointing its finger at Hawkins and saying, Although I don't know what your abilities are. Quote, but if the entity is still there, then it's not natural, right? As he spoke, the yellow ape's fingertips shone continuously. Beams of light, like sharp swords, followed by holes in the ground, wearing Hawkins' body. Under the attack of the beam of light, small scarecrows emerged one after another from Hawkins' body, as if taking damage for him. It seems like it's gone. Since that's the case, let's take care of it first. In Hawkins' frightened gaze, the yellow ape lifted its leg again. It's really hard for you to come all the way through countless hardships. Quote. As soon as the words fell, the golden light on the tip of the yellow ape's foot formed a huge golden disc, waiting for the yellow ape to kick it out. Dong dong dong. At this moment, on the other side of the battlefield, a man wearing headphones and red clothing with a large, sound, written on his chest was constantly tapping his chest. Making the sound of musical instruments. Open black lens bracket bounty of 198 million berry, hyming, apu. Close black lens bracket. The new book sets sail. Kneeling down to seek the flower and monthly pass evaluation tickets of handsome men and beautiful women. All your support is the author's motivation. Thank you very much. Closing square bracket. Chapter 6. One step. One supernova. For collection. You are listening at novelfull.audio. One punch Superman world. Teacher. This light speed kick. Quote. Genos initially had the idea of watching the excitement. But as the yellow ape and others on the screen demonstrated their respective strengths. Especially since the emergence of pacifists. Genos's mindset has changed. 
that massive pacifist is clearly a reformer like Genos. But in terms of strength, after calculation, Genos realized that he had no chance of defeating the pacifists. This made him suddenly feel extremely uncomfortable. Well, it's not difficult to kick at the speed of light, it's the process of his luminescence. This shouldn't be something that humans can do, right? Saitama scratched her head. Whether it's the teleportation of the yellow ape or kicking, Saitama can achieve it, and even surpass it a lot. But this is glowing. Please teach me, teacher. Genos didn't even hear what Saitama said in the second half of the sentence. Just hearing the first half, he decisively knelt down and kowtowed to Saitama. How can this be taught? Let me think about it. Saitama is in trouble. Slam dunk master world. Indoor basketball court. Coach. I want to. Before Sakuragai could finish her words, the chubby Angzai Guangyi directly slapped her with a violent button. Shut up. I still want to learn. Quote. Divine beings can become several times stronger just like inflatable humans. Shentama suddenly transformed into Tyrannosaurus Rex. And that even more outrageous scarecrow. Is this what he can teach? Is this what their world can learn? You are not allowed to look at this thing in the future. It will only wear down your willpower and waste your time. Have you heard me? Quote. Don't watch until you enter the national competition. Leaving the crowd on the field a domineering back of their heads, Coach Angzai stood up and left directly. Zeta Ultraman World. Just merging with Zeta Ultraman, Yasuhiro Natsukawa looked at the yellow ape on the screen, his eyes couldn't help but show a hint of longing. If as a human, he could possess the power of a yellow ape. How strong will it be after becoming Zeta Ultraman? If humans could master the speed of light kick during their time. After becoming Ultraman, isn't it a cosmic kick? Is there an instant breakthrough in cosmic boxing techniques? Just as Yao Hui was fantasizing about killing all the monsters and cosmic beings in all directions. Behind me, suddenly a colorful light door lit up. Immediately after, a blue and silver striped arm stretched out and instantly pulled Yao Hui in. Yao Hui. Quote. In the Zeta space, the tall Zeta Ultraman has transformed into the size of a human. What are you doing, Zeta? Why did you suddenly pull me in? Quote. Yao Hui is about to complain about Zeta Ultraman interfering with his TV series. As soon as I looked up, I saw the presence of a light screen above the Zeta space. Come and train, just this light speed kick. As long as you can master the light speed kick in Yaohui, we will definitely become stronger after we combine. Quote, Undoubtedly, they are companions with the same interests, and even their brain circuits are the same. Oh, my goodness. Yaohui instantly responded. One person, one Ultraman immediately started training. But I completely forgot that as a pure human, Yaohui cannot surpass the speed of light in this lifetime. Don't talk about the speed of light. Even the speed of sound is not good. The video continues. App's timely appearance successfully saved Hawkins' life. Listening to the tone emitted by Apu, a curious expression appeared on the face of the yellow ape, and the light on its feet gradually dissipated. Yo! Navy General Huang Huan. Quote. Apu's body transformed into various musical instruments, and as he continued to beat, the sound wave swept layer by layer towards the direction where the yellow ape was located. And the yellow ape, as if losing its sanity, stared blankly at Ap's direction and remained silent. Slash. Quote. At this moment, Apu let out a loud roar, his chin transforming into a golden shape, and his right hand forcefully smashed against the celestial cover. With a sizzling sound, 
A sound wave passed by and the yellow ape's arms instantly broke. Explosion. Before the yellow ape could react, Apu let out another loud roar. A punch hit his chest, and Ap's chest instantly emitted a flame-like sound wave. The sound wave hit the yellow ape, and its waist instantly exploded. Along with the limbs that had been cut off by the sound waves before, the whole person instantly turned into fragments on the ground. What? Does this person instantly kill the yellow ape when he appears? The people of the heavens and all worlds saw this scene and instantly widened their eyes. This new character, although his attack style is hilarious, his strength is also too strong, isn't it? This, 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 this Hall Water King, was just killed by someone in a flash. Quote, why is he called the, Rowing King? Because he never paddled until he died. But is this yellow ape really dead or pretending to be dead? Didn't he have been shot and unharmed before? Why did he suddenly die suddenly? It should be true death. Didn't you see that all the limbs were split? The body was even split in half, so it seems that there is no possibility of resurrection, right? Just as everyone in the heavens and realms was discussing endlessly whether the yellow ape had died. In the light screen, Ap shook his head. It's impossible for a grand naval general to die so easily. Today, I've seen a lot of interesting things. Goodbye. Quote. After speaking, Ap turned around and left bouncing around. Just like what Ap said. The yellow ape, whose body was split in half and still smoking at the fracture, suddenly shook its head and said, that's really excessive. Quote. After finishing speaking, the lower body of the yellow ape suddenly jumped up. The upper body and scattered limbs are transformed into golden lights, constantly converging towards the lower body. Under the convergence of countless golden lights, like weaving clothes, the lower body slowly weaves the shape of the upper body. You really scared me. Quote. The light dissipated, and the yellow ape fully recovered to its original state. Watching the fleeing Apu, the yellow ape calmly recited a sentence. Eight close mirrors. Quote. Immediately open your hands in your chest. The next second, at the gap between the hands, the light formed a mirror-like object. The mirror light shone out and turned back several times in the air, instantly shining in front of the distant Apu. Our ideographic period. The glaring strong light stunned Ap. Before Apu could react, the figure of the yellow ape had already appeared at the end of the light. By the time Apu finally realized something was wrong, the yellow ape had already kicked out with an inverted golden hook. Boom. With just one kick, the building under Ap's feet collapsed instantly, and he himself was kicked deep underground. Drake in the distance was stunned when he saw this scene. But in the next moment, the yellow ape's foot had already appeared in front of Drake. Bang! Another series of building collapses. Amidst countless smoke and dust, only the figure of the yellow ape remains. Next is Hawkins. The foot that was previously blocked by Ap has now become a finger that pierces through Hawkins. The golden light swept by, and Hawkins fell to the ground in pain. The new book has been released, and data is very important. Readers who like this book should support it and beg for all kinds of support. Thank you. Asterisk carrot underscore carrot asterisk. Chapter 7. Starting to draw water, kneeling for flower monthly pass. You are listening at novelfull.audio. One Piece World. Seeing oneself killing in all directions on the screen. The waist of a yellow ape can't be any straighter. Did you see it? Mr. Warring states. Did you see it? I really don't scratch at all. Quote. How could he be called the rowing king? After killing pirates with all his heart and effort. 
The yellow ape has a heart-wrenching appearance. It's like enduring immense grievances. Shut up. It's not time to discuss your nickname anymore. Quote. Red Dog blared at the yellow ape and then looked at the rear admiral standing beside him. Has the position of that straw hat boy been secured yet? Quote. And a few pirates in this screen. They should be on the Shampoo Islands now. Right. The rear admiral who was being watched, for some reason, was sweating profusely on his forehead. He noticed that Red Dog's gaze was not right, so he quickly stood at attention and saluted. Report to General, yes. Quote, according to eyewitnesses' reports, these pirates are currently in the target area. At the same time, on the Shampoo Islands, that's it. If this thing also appears in the Navy, wouldn't we be unlucky? Looking at the yellow ape killing him in a flash on the screen, a cold sweat couldn't help but fall from App's forehead. The strange monk Wer Ji, who was also killed in a flash next to him, had an equally ugly expression. If you want to enter a new world, you must stay on the Shambadri Islands. This is a dead end. One Punch Superman World. This guy is definitely not human, is he? Quote. Seeing the yellow ape being dismembered in eight pieces, but still able to stand up intact and even continue to kill enemies in seconds, Saitama slammed the table and shouted loudly. Yanos also looked at everything on the screen with an incredulous expression. Why do the characters that appear here look so strange? Only monsters have the ability to transform at will. Only monsters have this terrifying repair ability. Thinking of this, Genos suddenly felt a panic in his heart. These abilities cannot be learned by teacher Saitama. Yanos cannot learn on his own. But what if the monsters learn it? What if the monsters also possess this terrifying power? Just as Genos was worried. In the woods of Zed City. Sonic at the speed of sound looked at the screen as if he had discovered a new continent. Speed. Indeed. Only speed is the king. Quote. As long as I have mastered such a powerful speed, that damn bald guy will definitely not be my opponent. Wait to die. Bald. Quote. Sonic clenched his fist tightly, then casually swung a flying knife and shot out. Instantly shot onto the trunk of a large tree on the side. And at the location where the flying knife hits. A portrait of Saitama hangs prominently. Dragon Ball World. On the planet of destruction. Ah tilde so did this thing wake me up. Quote. Billus, who should have been sleeping for decades, had just slept for less than ten years when he was awakened by a loud noise. With a frustrated expression on his face, Billus pointed to the screen and asked. The angel Wes, who was responsible for taking care of Billus's daily life, nodded on the side. Yes, Lord Billus, I don't know if this thing is. Quote. Before Wes could finish speaking, a purple beam of energy shot out directly from Billus's fingertips. The energy beam instantly hits the light screen. What Billus didn't expect was. The expected explosion did not occur. When the beam hits, the screen is like a water surface thrown with small stones, except for a few ripples that have no effect. It's a bit interesting. Who created this thing? This discovery instantly piqued Billus's interest. Without giving Wes an opportunity to explain, Countless rays of light shot out from the screen. Wait until Billus plays for a full half hour. While the screen remains indifferent. Wes finally found the opportunity to speak up. I don't know. It just appeared out of thin air. Lord Billus. Don't waste your energy. The existence of this thing may be even higher than that of Lord Quan Wang. Nanny. Quote. Just as everyone in the heavens and realms lamented the power of the yellow ape. In the video, the screen rotates. The figure of the yellow ape suddenly appeared on another grassland. 
and with the arrival of the Yellow Ape, a green short-haired pirate swordsman was instantly pierced by the golden light and fell to the ground unable to rise. Bounty of 120 million berry, straw hat pirates, Sauron. Another pirate with a bounty of over 100 million yuan. Previously, I had seen the yellow ape swiftly kill so many pirates from all over the world. After realizing the name of Sauron, I immediately shook my head. I'm afraid this yellow ape is invincible, isn't it? Is there anyone on this island who can beat him? Amidst the emotions of the audience from all over the world, the yellow ape lifted one of its legs, and its toes were shining with countless golden lights. No. Come up with a solution. Quote. Bounty of 44 million berry, straw hat pirates, Frank. Not far from the two of them, Frank shouted anxiously when he saw this scene. If you get hit so close, it's over. Quote. Bounty of 30 million berry, straw hat pirates, Usopp. Beside the fallen Sauron, Usopp held a huge slingshot and looked nervously at the yellow ape. Bounty of 33 million berry, straw hat pirates, Brook. Brook, a skeleton creature with an explosive head on top of his head, although he didn't, T speak, kept his hand on his crutch and stared at the yellow ape with equal vigilance. Danger. Sauron is in danger. Quote, Bounty of 300 million berry, captain of the straw hat pirates, Luffy. On the other side, amidst a ruin, Luffy, who was kicked into the wall, screamed nervously after seeing the golden light on the tip of the yellow ape's foot, ignoring his injuries. Watching new characters emerge one by one, listening to their hoarse cries, while everyone in the heavens and realms felt nervous. A strange feeling surged in my heart. No. Wait a moment. Did this yellow ape kick for such a long time? Quote. Yeah. Isn't it claiming to be a light speed kick? These people have been shouting for a while. Why is this yellow ape still accumulating energy? Quote. Crouching trough. Shouldn't it be that the yellow ape is about to start paddling? Speaking of which, what's going on with this straw hat pirate's gang? Everyone else is fighting alone. Why is his family so neat? Shouldn't it be some kind of protagonist? The audience from all over the world was chattering incessantly. You should know that before encountering this straw hat pirate squad. Although the yellow ape also has a somewhat unreliable feeling. But kicking other pirates with a bounty of over a hundred million dollars is completely indescribable. That's really a kick as you please. What about the results now? Ming Ming had already knocked down this pirate named Sauron to the ground. Even lifted one leg early. As a result, I was stunned and let others roar beside me for a long time. It's just living or dying without stopping. What situation is this? Is there another hidden truth? Or is it the nickname, Water King, returning to the throne? Everyone was speculating one after another. The new book sets sail, kneeling down to seek the flower and monthly pass evaluation tickets of handsome men and beautiful women. All your support is the author's motivation. Thank you very much. Closing square bracket. Chapter 8. Wang Shi Hammer. For collection. You are listening at novelfull.audio. My youth love story indeed has a problematic world. He he. Is this the protagonist's treatment? Quote. Obviously, there are people who kill every second in the passerby or in the supporting role. But when you see the main character, you will somehow delay time, or even reduce your IQ. Quote. This kind of plot is really boring. In the classroom of the service department, Bikigu Bavan lay on the desk, squinted at the light screen in the sky, and murmured roast. For someone like him who squats at home without anyone's attention, 
The main character or something is not even a supporting role. At most, it's just a passerby. Still the kind of passersby in comics who can't even draw their faces. So when Bikigu Hachiman saw Luffy and others on the screen, the class gap immediately made him see the protagonist aura of Luffy. So while feeling envious in my heart, my mouth involuntarily started to poison. It's so noisy. Just watch the video. Why keep talking? I don't know if this will disturb others. Quote. Beside Bikigu Hachiman, a beautiful woman with long black hair looked at Bikigu Hachiman with a cold face and a disdainful expression. Oh. I'm sorry. Did I say it before? I'm sorry. Quote. Without looking back, he apologized. Bikigu Hachiman continued to chant in his heart. Doraemon's world. It's done. These shouting people may soon be attacked by the yellow ape. Quote. Nobita Nobita kept shaking his head as he looked at the screen. Isn't this deserved? Didn't you see the text prompt? These people are pirates. Aren't they supposed to be executed? Quote. Kazuo Okawa gave D.A. Shung a strange glare on his face. In Shaofu's eyes, all kinds of bandits, bandits, and pirates are of the same kind, posing a threat to wealthy people like him. It's best to catch them all. HMPH. How are you talking, kid? This yellow ape clearly relies on its strong physique to deliberately bully the weak. How dare you help him speak and seek a beating? Quote. Upon hearing these words, the fat tiger on the side immediately grabbed the back of the young man's neck and waved his big fist with a threatening expression. Isn't that what you're doing? The little man who was mentioned said in his heart roast crazily. Crayon Little New World. Xiao Xin. If you choose. Do you hope to become a strong person like Yellow Ape or continue to be your dynamic superhero? Nohara's family. Hiroshi Nohara finally managed to get enough rest. But before he had a good night's sleep, he was completely destroyed by the sudden appearance of the screen. After watching with his son for a while, Guangzi asked curiously. Of course it's a dynamic superhero. Quote. Although this yellow ape alien is powerful, he will definitely not be a partner of justice, a rival of dynamic Superman. Quote. Shaoshen put on a dynamic superhero pose and responded with an unusually firm response. You said it well. Quote. Hiroshi Nohara suddenly sat up straight. Shaoshen, in the future, you must remember that no matter what happens, Bullying the weak is not a good behavior. Do you understand? Yes. Quote. In the roast of the heavens and the myriad worlds. The video continues. The yellow ape still held its long legs high. The toes still sparkled with dazzling golden light. But this foot is just unwilling to kick down. Uzop, who had the courage to shout just now looked at the figure of the yellow ape and his body gradually trembled for some reason. Wusuapu, help Sauron. Quote, Lufei in the distance let out another loud roar. This roar instantly mustered up the courage for Usopp, holding a huge slingshot and aiming it straight at the head of the yellow ape. Damn it. You. Stop it for me. Usopp shouted with all his might, but as the words fell, Usopp's hand holding the bullet suddenly loosened and the bullet shot uncontrollably towards the yellow ape. The yellow ape remained expressionless, allowing bullets to pass through its nose and staring at Sauron on the ground without saying a word. What? Quote. Seeing that his bullets were missing, Usopp hurriedly pulled out a few new bullets and fired them at the body of the yellow ape one after another. Damn it. Damn it. You bastard. Why can't we hit you? All the bullets are like the first one. No matter how hard Usopp tries, he cannot repel the yellow ape by half a step. Let me do it. Quote. Behind Usopp, Brook shouted loudly and pulled out his thin sword hidden in his cane, 
stabbing the yellow ape in the stomach with a sword. What? How could it happen? Even if it didn't hit him, what should we do? Watching the sword pass through his body, Brooke widened his skeletal eyes. Damn it. Damn it. Look at the move. Quote. Faced with the inability to attack the yellow ape, Usopp and Brooke did not retreat at all, and their attacks were like raindrops, continuously hitting the yellow ape. Quickly move your feet away from me. Please move your feet away. Usopp and Brooke fought fiercely while shouting loudly. I've been playing for quite a while. The yellow ape finally spoke leisurely. It's useless. I am a shining person with sparkling fruits and a natural ability that is not susceptible to physical attacks. What? The Flash Man. Quote. Frank in the distance was momentarily stunned. Is it too difficult to be determined? Quote. Reward of 16 million berry, straw hat pirates, Nami. The orange-haired beauty standing next to Frankie covered her mouth with a frightened expression. Sauron. Get up. Run. Sauron. Quote. Bounty of 50 berry, straw hat pirates, jobber. Behind Frankie and Nami, a reindeer wearing a pink hat was crying and shouting loudly. Upon being called out by his companions, Sauron, who had been stomped on by the yellow ape with one foot, struggled to lift his head. But no matter how hard he tried, the pierced body couldn't exert any force and couldn't get rid of the yellow ape's feet. Are you really going to die? I'm going. It's not over. I've already cooked a bag of instant noodles in this time. Can I kick at the speed of light? The water king, truly deserving of his reputation, was able to let him water for such a long time. It's amazing. Do you still remember the unlucky Apu who just ambushed the yellow ape and ended up being chased after with just one kick? But you're looking at this Usopp and Brooke, how many times did they hit each other? It's nothing. It's too fake. If you say this yellow ape has nothing to do with the straw hat pirates, I'm the first one to disagree. These two groups of people definitely have personal connections. Private intercourse. What is private intercourse? I even suspect that this straw hat pirate squad is a pirate force formed by the yellow apes themselves. Have you heard of the importance of raising pirates? Without pirates, their navy would be at risk. Quote. Chapter 9. The Underworld King Rally appears, kneeling for flowers and moon. You are listening at novelfull.audio. One Piece World. I said, Polisali no, should you explain it to us now? Quote. Why can you beat the assassin in pain when facing other pirates, but when facing this member of the straw hat boy, are you grinding your teeth? Quote. In the office of the Marshal of the Warring States period. Watching the three of them gradually approaching him, the yellow ape's back was sweating profusely. How can this be explained? Is it difficult to tell everyone directly that I have already planned to retire? This is so hard to say. Just as the yellow ape was extremely embarrassed and had words of suffering. Bang! The door of Marshall's office was violently pushed open by someone. Wahaha! Ha ha ha! Polisalino! Thank you for giving me this terrible old man face. Quote. Everyone turned their heads and saw Cap, who was known as a naval hero, wearing a dog-headed hat and walking forward with a big laugh on his face. Walking to the side of the yellow ape, a bear lifted it up high. Ah yes. Why am I paddling? Isn't it because this straw hat kid has the same surname as Cap? Can it be that I have to kill my own people? Although his body felt uncomfortable being held, the yellow ape still forced himself to smile. These steps are all in front of my face. If I don't pick them up again, I really can't get down. The Tale World of Fairies. Thunder God's Stronghold. Lakshas. 
Can you add a speed of light effect to your attacks like this yellow ape? Quote. Philip Justin, one of the Thunder Gods, casually asked. Bastard. What are you talking nonsense about? Of course Laxis can do it. And he's much stronger than this old guy. Quote. Upon hearing such a foolish question, another Thunder God member, Abba Gelin, immediately spoke out and retorted. Seeing that Laxus, who was asked about it, had no response, the last Thor, Bigasro, shook his head. Although I also admire Laxus, to be fair, I don. T think Laxus is a match for this old man right now. Quote. Although this old man looks unregulated, his understanding of speed has indeed surpassed that of Lacrosse's. Quote. At the center of the discussion, the dragon destroyer of Thunder Wizard Laxus ignored the three and fell into contemplation alone. The magic he uses is thunder, with a focus on destructive power. But if we learn from this yellow ape and add some speed on top of thunder, will he become stronger? Will the destructive power become higher? Hockage World. Maye Village. Almost every middle-aged ninja in the village thought of that person when they saw the yellow ape killing in all directions. The fourth generation fire shadow of Maye Village, with yellow flashes, waves of wind and watergate. And most coincidentally, the yellow ape in the light screen, claiming to be the Flashman. Hey, lecherous fairy, why are you suddenly stunned? What are you thinking? Are you also like me, thinking that this yellow ape is amazing? Quote. Naruto Vortex looked at Zillia who was stunned and approached, patting and laughing. Looking at Naruto laughing, Zillia's gaze suddenly became gentle. I couldn't help but extend my hand and rub Naruto's head. You guy, if one day you could be like that guy, what a wonderful thing it would be. Quote. Rubbing Naruto's hair vigorously, Zillai also let out a long sigh. Hey, damn pervert, you've messed up my hairstyle. Stop it. Quote. At this moment, Naruto had no intention of caring about Jiraiya's sigh. Instead, he grabbed Jiraiya's big hand tightly and struggled desperately, trying to escape from it. In the video, looking at Sauron, who was powerless to stand up, in the distance of the crowd, a handsome man in a black suit with short yellow hair couldn't help but sigh. No. That guy can't stand up anymore. Quote. Bounty of 77 million berry, straw hat pirates, Sanji. 20 rounds of flowers blooming. Quote. Bounty of 80 million berry, straw hat pirates, Robin. A crisp sound from the senior sister's speaker began. Then I saw a black-skinned beauty wearing a cowboy hat, her hands wrapped around her chest. Accompanied by Robin's shout, countless arms suddenly emerged from the ground beside Sauron. These arms forcefully pushed Sauron away from the yellow ape's feet. Then form a conveyor belt-like structure on the ground, gradually pulling Sauron away from the vicinity of the yellow ape. The yellow ape, still holding its feet high and emitting golden light, only glanced at Sauron who had been moved away. The next second, the entire body of the yellow ape turned into countless rays of light. At this moment, he unexpectedly stepped on Sauron's body again. The right foot is still lifted high. The toes still sparkled with light. Seeing this scene, the barrage kept rolling and rolling. Crouching slot. Shouldn't this yellow ape be mentally abnormal? He just likes to torture people's spirits. Quote. No wonder you haven't stopped for a long time. Are you actually enjoying the despair of pirates? This. This is also too abnormal. This is not a stroke of water. This is clearly an act of violence. He must kick with this foot, right. In the voice of countless people roast. In the light screen. Watching Sauron's arms still struggling to pull Sauron. The yellow ape's eyelids lifted slightly. And it wrote lightly. 
I can't take this guy away. It's useless. Quote. As they spoke, the light on the tips of the yellow ape's feet became even more intense. Looking at this posture, after accumulating energy for half a day and kicking at the speed of light, is it finally about to fall? Sure enough, it's just as everyone imagines. Amidst the frightened gazes of a group of members of the Straw Hat Pirates, the yellow ape spoke leisurely. I'm going to send him to the west now. The toes are raised slightly here. Just as the light speed kick was about to fall. As the screen turned, there was a person in the distance, one by one, galloping along the grass. As they were about to reach the side of the yellow ape, the visitor turned around in midair and kicked out with a side kick. He kicked the yellow ape's ankle perfectly. The flash of energy that had been stored up by the yellow ape for half a day kicked it onto the big tree behind it. Boom! In the incredulous gazes of the straw hat pirates and the people of all heavens and worlds, a deafening explosion suddenly sounded. Countless waves of air surged and flames filled the sky. Wait until all the dust settles. The yellow ape leisurely lowered its right leg that had been raised for half a day and spoke calmly. What? Is it your turn to appear? Hades. Rally. Quote. Pull up the camera. A figure with white hair appeared in front of the yellow ape. White hair and white beard. Also wearing a pure white cloak. There's no way. Can't you kill all these young people? Quote. Their era has just begun. Faced with the yellow ape's inquiry, the person laughed back. Hades. Rally. Chapter 10. Eight mirrors with delays. For collection. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The Blue Sea World. Hey. Gengping. Why do I feel like this yellow ape is just waiting for rally? Quote. Give me a feeling that Rayleigh can't come out, his feet can't even fall down. Quote, Kitahara Izuki, who was stripped to the point where only a pair of shorts were left, asked in confusion as she held a cup of water for life in her hand. Nonsense. Of course. Quote, if viewed from the game's settings, this straw hat pirates team is clearly the protagonist, and the yellow ape is the villainous boss. Before the protagonist can defeat the boss, of course, there will be experts like Rally who will use their lives to delay time and exchange for the protagonist's growth. Quote, you're really a fool. You can't even see such a simple reason. Amura Gengping, who was also stripped of only a pair of shorts, sneered arrogantly. Ha! Huh. Who are you calling a fool? Looking for death. I'm afraid you won't succeed. Come on. A big war is about to break out. To offer blessings to the beautiful world. I envy this straw hat pirates team so much. When they encounter danger, there is even such a powerful old man coming to their rescue. Who is like me, carrying a goddess, but ended up being a real waste. Quote. After finally getting rid of the condemnation of Passersby, Sato and Shin, hiding in a small tavern, looked at Akuya who had been drinking too much with a speechless expression. At this moment, Akuya was standing in the crowd, holding two peculiar fans and performing banquet magic. That jumping up and down looks clearly like a monkey. What a bullshit goddess. The video continues. Seeing Rally rushing to the rescue scene, Luffy, feeling relieved, shouted at his crew. Usopp. Brooke. You guys should take Sauron out quickly. Quote. The two of them, who were still shocked by Rally's identity and strength, reacted decisively upon hearing Luffy's shout and rushed towards Sauron. Everyone. Listen to me now. All you need to do is run. This is an enemy we can't beat at all. Don't think about anything. Run for me. Seeing Wusuapu carrying Sauron, Luffy continued to roar loudly. Oh my, what an unpleasant little devil. He just surrendered so decisively. Listening to Luffy's shout, 
the yellow ape showed an expression of annoyance. You should know that before coming. He had a guaranteed ticket with the warring states period. Seeing Lu Fei and others running in all directions without looking back, the yellow ape once again raised its hands flat on its chest. Eight close mirrors. Quote. A golden mirror instantly converged between the hands. Then golden light shot out, illuminating the escape route of Usopp and Brooke. It's so dazzling. What kind of thing? Quote. Usopp, who was running with Sauron on his back, instinctively closed his eyes. It's light. What does he want to do? Brooke, who was running alongside him, ran back and forth. Because Brooke is in a skeletal form, with only two pitch black holes in his eye sockets and no eyeballs, he can directly look at the incoming light. At this moment, the body of the yellow ape, which had used an eight-legged mirror, turned into streams of light and flew towards the end of the illumination. But before the yellow ape could fully transform its body, Rally suddenly drew a sword from beside and directly knocked the yellow ape out of its light spot state. I won't let you pass easily. Quote. The two of them landed again, and Rally raised his long sword with a fierce battle in his eyes. Only the world with supporting role injured has been reached. App. Is this really the eight nose mirror? When you hit me for Mao, it was as slow as a turtle when you hit the straw hat pirate squad. Is it possible that there is still a delay in this eight nose mirror? Quote. The agreed speed of light was actually stopped by someone using a sword and water was also released, which is too obvious, isn't it? What about releasing water? This is clearly releasing the sea. When you can kill, not saying a word means not killing. When you can't kill, the library puts skills, and the main focus is not killing. Quote. The Water King's solid hammer, indeed, only had the wrong name and not the wrong nickname, it's so water drawing. Roast constantly in the bullet screen. Anyone with long eyes can almost tell that the yellow ape is acting. Poor performance review. In the video, facing Raleigh's long sword, the yellow ape landed and clapped its hands. The next second, it forcefully pulled out a golden lightsaber from its palm. Tian Kong Cloud Sword. Quote. The moment the lightsaber was pulled out, it collided fiercely with the long sword in Raleigh's hand. Oh my, when I came out, I thought I was going on vacation. The yellow ape sighed. Isn't life full of surprises like this? The Monkey King. Rally chuckled. Next second. Sword shadows cover the sky. The sound of metal impacts kept coming one after another. The world of working cells. Watching the two people constantly fighting on the screen. A group of white blood cells stopped their work and looked up, with endless envy in their eyes. If they could also have such powerful strength. Still afraid of some virus invading the human body. Don't say it's a common cold virus. Even if it's cancer cells, they'll die if they come in. And across from a group of white blood cells, a bunch of messy viruses have also stopped attacking their bodies. Looking at the screen with an envious expression on his face. If only these viruses could have such powerful capabilities. White blood cells are nothing. At that time, you can capture any body you want. This feeling feels great just thinking about it. Dry girl buries the world. Hiccup. Sure enough, this summer, it's still the best to stay at home, drink cola, and watch videos. Quote. Putting down half of the bottle of cola that he had been drinking heavily, Sioba contentedly rubbed against the huge pillow behind him, making himself lie down more comfortable. This screen cannot be zoomed in or out, cannot be saved, negative review. Just at the moment when the light screen is buried roast. The light screen seemed to hear the sound of Shaoburi. A pop-up interface unique to Shaoburi appears. Do you want to download the video? 
Yes. No. Ah. Huh. With doubts in mind, Sioba chose the Yes. button. Subtitles disappear. In the bottom right corner of the screen, there is an additional transparent progress bar. Current video download progress. 34 one hundredths. Ah. 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 Surprisingly, it can really be downloaded. The same scene has appeared in many modern worlds. For modern people who have become accustomed to using video websites. A qualified video website must have the ability to download online. Otherwise, what should I do when I want to watch it again in the future? Can we wait for this screen to automatically replay? I think it's impossible. And those who move towards extraordinary branches have not lit up the world of technology skill trees. The screen also sent him a pop-up window asking if they wanted to download the video. In an instant, the download volume of videos skyrocketed.